Begin a T-wall project by excavating to the elevation shown on the contract plans. Proof roll the foundation, then form and pour the leveling pads. Wall construction begins by setting the first course of the precast concrete units on the pads and adjusting them to the correct line and grade. Leaving a half inch gap between units creates vertical joints which are covered by filter fabric. Spill the select backfill over the stems to ensure that the fill is even on both sides. Spread the fill evenly between stems and compact it to the specified density. Lift should not exceed 12 inches. Next, shear keys wrapped in polyethylene foam are placed in notches on the top of the stems. Four neoprene rubber pads go on the top of each unit, three on the face and one near the back of the stem. Add the next course of T-wall. Level and plumb each unit as necessary. A strip of filter fabric goes over each horizontal joint from haunch to haunch, and filter fabric continues upward over the vertical joints. The second course is backfilled following the same methods used for the first. Neoprene pads and shear keys complete the second course. The steps are repeated for each subsequent course, adding units until the wall structure is complete. The T-Wall Retaining Wall System is ideal for highways. It is also well suited for railways, waterways, and site development.